The Millennium Development Goals will most likely not be met by 2015 for target on slums without newer innovations and interventions, according to UN Habitat and the International Council for Caring Communities, who jointly held a high-level working session on a better urban future and sustainable development at UN headquarters on Monday. The session included a VIP sharing benefit luncheon and awards honoring the president of South South News, UN Ambassador Francis Lorenzo, for his work on bridging public and private partnerships for sustainable development, advancing the achievement of the MDGs through South-South News Media Platform, and promoting information communication technology as a tool for development. We face the same challenges when we talk about either achieving the Millennium Development Goal or trying to use ICT as a tool for development, either in Kenya or in the Dominican Republic or any other country that see the importance of ICT to achieve the MDG. South South News is using technology to create a global conversation on issues related to the MDGs and particularly the use of information, communication and technologies as a tool to achieving these goals. The program included a combination of themes from how digital health can promote the achievement of the Millennium Development Goals, how scaling up the practical implementation of music for healing, peace and the MDGs, to how information communication technology can enhance the collective MDG agenda. I think it's difficult uh, after the last few weeks not to be impressed that uh, in Tunisia and in Egypt the cell phone really enabled a change in government that's, that was inconceivable uh, just even two or three years ago and certainly five years ago we wouldn't have dreamt about this so it is clear that uh, there are channels of communication that were not open to anyone before and it's having an impact on the whole political process and so one of the things that we were speculating on today at this conference is uh, how can one use similar technology to affect the decision making that happens around urban futures. The object is to think outside the box. If we can think outside the box, there are answers and solutions. And these are experts willing to do it. They don't have the UN connection. So we're kind of the bridge between those that have the information and those that are willing to give, but you and I are the ones that are going to have to put that together. The luncheon was organized in conjunction with the Age of Connectivity, a UN Habitat initiative known as Better Cities, Better Life, under the theme Imagining the Possible, where discussions also supported the needs of the world's aging population to the benefits of involving the citizens whose communities require sustainable urbanizing and adopting to local cultures and including youth in the urbanization planning process. I think it's uh, fascinating to see that the uh, spread of interest was so great. And, you know, when you, when, when you look at the Millennium Goals, say, outside the UN, if you're not involved in any way, it's easy to be cynical about it. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to say, oh, the, you, you know, they're never going to be able to do that. Alleviate poverty? How are they going to do that? And the fact is, the UN works and works hard. And I think today is a very good example of that, because this was an ambitious event to include so much. So I was very impressed. Afaf Kanja for South South News, United Nations.